Today marks the official start of our Sims 4 for it Let's Play. This is the continuation of our Horse Ranch save. If you didn't watch the Horse Ranch Let's Play, all you need to know is a lot of Sims died. Chantal Chantal died honestly about five times. Most of these are her graves, yet she's been resurrected each time. And um, one big problem, we do have a horse. <laughs> So I built an entire apartment complex while I built three houses together. And this is what we managed to buy with all the money that we got from our horse ranch. Let's play. Two of them are totally empty ones that we're gonna rent out at some point. And this one here is our rather cozy apartment that we've got. We also have a bed for the horse. <laughs> I can't believe we've got a horse. Right, Chantal, you better refill that feeder now. Like we've got no amenities with this horse. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ferocious flange. Oh my God, ferocious flange. I'm so sorry. Let's have a little chat, mate. Now, because this is a continuation of the last Let's Play, we've got all of our bonus traits, which is cool. So this will be, oh my God, look at all of Shanice's. Jesus Christ. So as I said, we, oh look, the horse is using the bed. That's cute. At least he can get in there. So we do have so much money left over from our last Let's Play, and we're going to need that to buy new residential rentals to sell. Now, another good reason why we have all of this money is because renting is broken right now in this pack, so you can't actually make money, which would be interesting. Oh, we can't buy our own apartments. Oh, that's, how do we purchase this then? Because we already live in here. Oh, there we go. We click on this side, purchase a residential rental. Can we purchase the one that we're living in? Sims can only purchase unowned businesses. How do I purchase the one that I'm living in? Okay, guys, we've messed up. <laughs> okay, what if we move out? I feel like we need to move out, purchase it, and then move in. I don't know. How the hell do we do this? Okay, we're moving into a tiny empty lot. And we're, okay, we're moving into this tiny lot. Oh no, because then it sells the furniture. Oh, for Christ's sake. I don't want to sell or remove our furniture. I want to leave everything there. Does that mean we can't buy the one that we're living in? <laughs> that is an issue. There's no way you can't purchase the one that you're living in. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. And the rent is like 4 billion a day. The rent is literally 4.3 billion per day. So that's happening. <laughs> For Christ's sake, guys, I can't believe it. The only, okay, guys, I know what we're gonna, we're just gonna have to move some of the iconic Satron Sim Sims from previous Let's Plays in here and just not own this one, but we'll own other ones. Courgette Clarence, I love you so much. You can live in one of these. Perfect boyfriend, I love you too. You can live in the next one. There we go, we can all be neighbors together. And they're, oh, now their rent is minus one. Oh my God, they're literally earning $1 a week. In rent like what what is going on here <laughs> what's going on with this rent situation so we will have to furnish these but obviously we can't do that now we're gonna have to i don't want to do that in this let's play but at least we've got neighbors now also so we've got just under two hundred thousand simoleons i want to purchase a residential rental lot in tomerang i've placed some lots from the gallery the one we're living in i make myself i downloaded a pool lot because this pack comes with pool parties this is one made by little simsy i believe i've edited the party Park in the world to add some more activities and I downloaded another lot here off the gallery. Can we afford this one? It says confirmed but I don't think we can afford it. We don't have the funds to afford this. I'm just skeptical because it says it's almost 500k but we only have just under 200k. It doesn't make any sense. I'm just gonna buy this one, the Screaming Gecko for 122k so we have a little bit of money left. It's already been pre-built. Only like one of the lots has loaded so I can't show you the furniture in all of them but this is downloaded off the gallery. It's very very beautiful. You can find it by searching most popular the screaming gecko now we've got to go into live mode and we've got to return home because of loading screens of course until we wait for the loading screen to load and she walks a million miles so we've got a total of five different vacancies which is amazing so do we need any unit rules firstly because it was nicely built i am going to make the rent a little bit higher 100 simoleons i think is all right i am going to say no pets because guys one thing i've noticed about this pack if you do own cats and dogs every single like rental person will like have a pet is really weird so i'm just gonna say no pets this is just for the first apartment at least anyway no trash overload no loud noises in fact should we should we put every unit rule on this first one to be a bitch yes we are so it's got one bed one bathroom so we we'll put a young adult in there there you go we've got another one here again i'm gonna up the rent just like a little bit this one i'm gonna be generous absolutely no rules this one has another one bed one bath so i'm gonna put all oh, the boulder there we go the boulder can live in here this 
one again rent maybe 100 simoleons to begin with another adults this one oh 196 max rent i'll make it 180 oh this has four beds but there's not like four people who want it although we have an adult teen and child so maybe we should put those in there this one we're set to 150 rent and we're gonna do no trash overload this is three beds one bath oh of course now we've got four adults well four sims okay wait this one says they want only three beds even though there's four sims but their rent okay it's too much rent for them okay we're gonna have to keep the rent cap lower so they can afford it and we'll move that family in okay we've got five rental units we do have seventy-one thousand simoleons left i really want to buy the one that we're living in this is such a shame oh look there's courgette clarence hello madam where are you running off to where are you running off to madam she come to say hello oh she's come to get a mail out of the wrong mailbox <laughs> should we introduce ourselves we don't actually know her yet there's a tomorani introduction which is what tomorani people do like a bow that's really cute hey guys i feel really bad that we got a horse i wonder what it would be like if you take your horse for just like a little ride around tomerang we go for a relaxed ride oh there's perfect boyfriend as well looking really sexy we give him a tomerani introduction as well so shan't out where are you taking um ferocious flange he's feeling uncomfortable because he's not having fun so hopefully this will give him a little bit of fun so there we go we're having a little trot around tomerang this is really lovely isn't it? A bit of cross pack play. Although he's, he's looking a bit depressed. I feel bad. He's still not having much fun and he's uncomfortable. I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. Well. Anyway. Oh, we got off the horse for some reason. We didn't, we didn't come back home. <laughs> oh, the horse fell asleep. Oh my God. Ferocious flange. Why did he fall asleep? You're not even tired, mate. Wake up. I think we ought to go home now. That was a little bit too much. And I'm, oh guys, look at this. A welcome wagon is here, but we don't have a welcome wagon event. Do you think that's because they're greeting like the other neighbors, but not us? Do you know what I mean? Do you think the welcome wagon wagon is here for the other neighbors oh wait the property owner is here hello sir would you like to come in would you like to see my property you going to come in or not okay i feel like maybe we did actually like the welcome wagon was supposed to be for us but maybe it glitched oh there we go the welcome wagon has finally technically shown up and um oh my god look who is this well, oh my god why is our neighbor blue <laughs> why is she blue what why is her skin blue what happened <laughs> what happened to her skin okay now we've got all these random neighbors in our house I don't, oh my god, sir, why are you using my rice cooker? Did I say you could use my rice cooker and make yourself a bowl of rice? You little bitch. Now, oh my god, now all these sims are eating fucking rice in my house. <laughs> I think the, the horse is feeling tense. Is it because we've just thrown him into this other world? <laughs> and there's no room to place toys to have him to play with. I'm so sorry, Ferocious Flange. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. He's got really good genetics. So, I mean, we could sell him for a bit of money if we need the money. Also, guys, I just remembered this pet comes with some new aspirations so for Chantal Chantel I'm giving her the seeker of secrets aspiration which is a deviant one a bad one although even though it's a bad one there is a goal to keep a secret so basically Chantal Chantal is going to be breaking into people's homes yes she is Shanice Shanice on the other hand we're giving her the font or fount of Tomorani knowledge this is to help us understand the world that we're living in which will be fun right welcome back and please fuck off I don't want you anymore goodbye so the first thing she wants to do is use a squat toilet because because it is for some reason a normal person's lifelong goal to use a squat toilet so it seems that's what if that's what we've got to do Shanice that's what we're doing whether you like it or not how do you feel squatting in your pink Moschino heels was that lovely and um, who's this who's this lady in my house can you get out please let me send you home luckily because one of the townies makes some rice we could grab a serving because we're feeling hungry oh and this pack also came with an update to sink so we can set this as a kitchen sink we can set the upstairs one as the bathroom sink so the game doesn't get confused. Now, guys, we literally have so much to do. I don't know where to start. Should we start with her aspiration? Okay, she's used... Oh, she wants to use it three times. So can we just, like, literally spam it three times? There we go. Yeah, oh, my God. We literally can just spam it three times and then that's done. Lovely. Use a Tomorani introduction three times. We already did that, but we did it before we got the aspiration. So that is a spot of bother. Does that mean we're going to have to meet some new people? Okay, that can wait. But we need to leave a fruit or incense at the spirit house. Where is there a spirit house? in this entire pack there is one in this specific apartment building actually so maybe if we visit these random people we give them a tomorani introduction that resolves the aspiration and we can use the spirit house we're doing a two-in-one so we introduce ourselves to you venetia how's it going venetia how's your day oh and she has the child of the village personality trait that's pretty
really good. Oh, look, there's Corgetti Clarence come to say hello as well. Hello, madam. You are looking so happy. Yes, you are. And we we'll leave an offering at the spirit house. I'm not quite sure what these are, but when I lived in Japan, a lot of Japanese houses had like shrines and they put photos of family members in and they light incense. I don't know if it's similar. It might be similar. I'm not too sure. So also what I think we should do is go into our apartment building that we literally just bought and introduce ourselves to the neighbors because that way we also get even more Tomorani introductions out of the way. Do you know what I mean? So we are going to meet the boulder because he looks sexy. Yes, we are woohooing with him. This pack did not come with a new woohoo type, but I don't care. Yes, we are woohooing with our tenant. I feel like he's supposed to be based on the rock, seeing that he's called the boulder. All right, he's sexy enough for Shanice Shanice. Weirdly, he looks taller than her, and I don't know why, because this game doesn't have height. Anyway, we're Tomorani introduction to you. And I know we literally just met, but... I'm asking you if you are single. I'm also asking him about woohoo interests, if he's gay or straight. Oh, we have good compatibility as well. And he wants, wait, he wants a woohoo with no one. So he's, does this mean he's like an asexual? Why did they code him into what a woohoo with no one? That's so boring. But I, I feel like we're gonna have to go into like manage households and change that so we can woohoo with him, but whatever. I'm also gonna visit one of the other neighbors. I just wanna complete step one of the aspiration. Oh, actually now, cause we're the landlord, we can do like inspection and maintenance on certain things in the property. I think that's pretty cool. Does that maybe up the unit rating? I don't quite know. I noticed through my playthrough that the unit ratings literally just go up by themselves over time without even having to like do anything. So maybe it doesn't mean anything. Oh, we've already met him for some reason. Well, that's not gonna do. We need to find a stranger to do an introduction to. Can one of these do? Oh my God, Corgetti Clarence again. <laughs> You're everywhere, Corgetti. Right, we need to hurry up because Shanice is feeling tired and she's about to pass out. But if we do this little introduction, there we go we completed milestone number one lovely right and now we need to go home before we pass out as we wait for the loading screen to load oh my god vlad's just text me that he wants my neck right as soon as we're getting home you know what i'm gonna do we're gonna click on the door lock for no what do we do no trespassing disallow vampires goodbye so i feel like we've had a productive first date oh my god the, the horse is at the neighbor's door imagine if you're a horse at the neighbor's door and like you just open your door and there's a horse right in front of your door do you know what I mean. <laughs> That's a little bit weird. Okay, again wants us to prepare a recipe with the pressure cooker. So it looks like Shanice is making some breakfast. Hopefully we won't um, burn the house down this time as we did in uh, the last Let's Play and killed Chantal. Oh my god, the horse, the horse is running through the house. <laughs> the horse is just, what is the horse? Oh my god, the horse literally ran through the house. That is hilarious. Ferocious flange, you have absolutely no chill. We're working on our new aspiration. This is getting good. Oh my god, tenant revolt, your time has come. The boulder has endured bad living conditions for far too long. He's been renting that one day and his apartment looks beautiful. So we have to visit the boulder now because he's being a bitch. Sir, I was not expecting to do this on my first day as a landlord. You are very much inconveniencing me. Right, sir, where are you? Is this you? No, it's not. Where are you, sir? You're supposed to be having a tenant revolt and you're revolting by yourself because you are revolting. Yes, you are. We're gonna promise better conditions. Oh my God, these people are so rancid. Stop it. I wish we could just pay them off to tell them to shut up. Oh my God, they're all, oh my God, they're literally all coming out now. <laughs> oh my god, all these people are here. Oh my god, they all hate me. I'm pro trying to promise all these people better conditions. Your efforts have been acknowledged in the community except your gestures of cancellation. Great job settling out the problem. Your unit rating went up. Lovely. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I'm modifying him in cast. Can we, can we change his sexuality? Oh my god, we can't do it. That is so annoying. Is there a way to do it? Because I want Shanice to woohoo with him. Yes, I do. I mean, in real life, he's straight as as far as I'm aware, so I don't know why he's an asexual in the game. Anyway, why Shanice is there, I'm going to switch to Chantal Chantel because as a seeker of secrets, we have aspirations like discovering secrets, snooping for secrets and eavesdropping. So we, I don't want to break into these houses because there's literally nothing in them because we haven't decorated them yet. So we'll break into somebody else in this building. We are going to break into the Lee household. That sounds like fun. Let's get going. This is what I said guys in my review about the loading screen. So we've got to like load in to the lot and now we've loaded into the lot we click on the door and we click start a break in and then like we load into a break in like i'm i'm so loaded out right now i'm sick of taking loads yes i am and i'm oh my god why oh my god shanice is still here <laughs> 
I forgot Shanice was here. All right, shan't out. Let's get going. Let's break in. Are you ready to break into this house? Yes, we are. Oh, the first attempt failed. We got to try again, it seems. We haven't got much time left. Okay, quickly shan't out. Snoop for things. I also like how you can just use any of their objects and just enjoy your time. Do you know what I mean? Can we snoop the PC? It's difficult to know. Okay, we can snoop the... Can we... Okay, we can snoop the desk. We can snoop the bed. Oh, look, Shanice has come in to help. Hello, Shanice. Do you want to do some snooping? Why don't you snoop the bed? Oh my god, our horse is here. Technically, well, he's on the other side of the world, but he's technically loaded in with us. We need to snoop for a total of 10 secrets. Well, we only need to discover three. All right, we need to get out. Oh my god, we need to get out now. The homeowner's coming back. We need to get out right now, Chantel. Let's go before he sees us. What did we learn? Tiger tantrum. Tiger tantrum. Guys, like, these secrets are randomly generated, so, like, I don't even give a shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. They're randomly generated stories. Like, it's not... I said this in my review. They're not fun, so I literally don't care. Ripped pants. Like, I don't care. It's just made up. Do you know what I mean? So, we are ignoring them. So, actually, one thing that, um, Shanice really wants to do is she wants to go to the night market. This is a part of her new aspiration. I know I said in my review, by the way, guys, like, oh, this pack is bad. I do genuinely think it's bad, but because I'm hilarious, yes, I am. I am so funny. That is why I can make this entertaining and turn a boring night market like this into something funny. I still don't recommend buying the pack. I just want to make that clear. I can have fun with it because I have a good imagination and I'm just doing it for YouTube. But if you don't, I don't recommend it. Anyway, we're buying a striped t-shirt apparently. And we thought, why have we got all this crap in our inventory? Cookie dough, prep seafood, spoiled prep veggies. Why have we got all this crap? Oh my God, we're going to have to drag it all into a bin, aren't we? Oh, and of course it's dragging like one at a time. Oh my God, it's not even dragging. Oh my God, why have we got, I think this is when we did the Home Chef Hustle Let's Play when that pack came out. <laughs> so she's got like rotten cookie dough, rotten seafood in her inventory. That's not very nice, is it? Oh my God, we got 67 of these prep veggies. Are we going to have to drag and drop every single one of them? I don't think you can multi-select these and get rid of them. Oh, for Christ's sake. This was a very, very bad idea. Yes, it was. Now we're going to have to drag all of them out manually. Okay, that took much longer than I would have liked. So she also wants to buy some food at the night market. All of these uh, shops are fake. So where's the food shop? There we go. Here's a real one. We'll have some. We have. A, I love a tofu stir fry. Let's get going, Shanice. Why is she angry? Fury of the trolls. Some people can be so mean from a social bunny post. That sounds like a you problem, Shanice. Not a me problem. Right, should we sit down? Shanice, how are you enjoying your little tofu stir fry? Oh my God, you've eaten it quite quickly. That's it, guys. We've completed the night market. <laughs> it's all done. Also, actually, now it's like almost midnight. I think it would be another great time for Chantal Chantal to do a bit snooping. I heard apparently the most common time to get burgled is in the middle of the day. Okay, this uh, Mrs. Akida, she's not at home for some reason, so we may as well burgle her. Oh, we'll take, come on, let's take Ferocious Flange along with us. Yeah, I heard apparently you're more than likely to get burgled in the middle of the day because that's when people are at work, whereas in the evening because you're at home it won't happen. That's what I heard anyway. Oh my god, why are there kids out at this time of night? That is not acceptable. So, we're going to do a little bit more snooping. Let's get going, Chantal. Hopefully we'll break it down in one this time. There we go. So we've got lots of time to do lots of snooping. Oh, should we set the table? Should we um, set the table with like fancy tablecloths? <laughs> Imagine coming home to that. You'd be like, what the hell? You can't like, I feel like the game should let you snoop in the fridge. Do you know what I mean? It only lets you snoop on like certain objects. Like why can't I snoop on the chest of drawers? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, oh, the time is done. So we actually need to leave. So that, oh my God, she's coming home. Oh my God, she's coming home. Oh my God, did she see me? Madam, are you not, madam, are you not mad that I just snooped in your house or just ignoring me? You're just ignoring, see like this is such a dumb feature. Like she's just ignoring the fact that I've just broken into her house. If this was the Sims 1, 2 or 3, she would have gone up and she would have smashed my face in. She would have had a literal fight with me, but she's just ignoring me. This is like so dumb. Should we confront her about her secret? See what she says. Now that the secret is known, Shans how can choose to inform Sayori that sh she will hold that secret forever or blackmail her for cold hard simoleons. Well, we know what we're doing, Chantel. We are blackmailing her. Yes, we are. Because I would like you to earn some money. There we go. We earned 100 simoleons. 
lovely. So where did Ferocious Flange go? Oh, sorry, sir, I've left you there. <laughs> He's uncomfortable. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's get going home. Oh my God, it's 6 a.m. Chantal, I think you're gonna be living the nocturnal lifestyle of the life as a criminal. So we need to cook one more meal from here. And then we've cooked all of the Tomorani cuisine that we can. So we're already like level two into our lifetime aspiration, which is very good. It's good. I feel like we can play with Shanice in the day and Chantal at night. So we also want to visit Tomarang's cave and collect tassels. And you can get tassels from the cave. Where is the cave? Is it on this side? There we go. It's all the way over here. So Shanice, actually guys, from the horse ranch, let us play. Like we're still wearing our horse ranch clothing. <laughs> I feel like we need to change our clothing to match our new world. So Shanice, she does wear everything in pink. This is the rule of Shanice. And everything else is in clashy, disgusting, hot pink. Yes, it is. Oh, and her formal outfit is always going to be the LGBT sleigh wedding dress. That will never change. But I think it'd be nice to have like new party wear and swimwear because this, oh no, this pack comes with no swimwear. That's a shame. We do, I think, need a new hot weather outfit because this world is very, very hot all of the time. So we also need cold weather wear as well. For some reason, she wears like cold weather stuff in this world, even though it's quite a hot world. The, oh, we've only got one top. So we're going to have to use something from another pack. That's fine. She looks like one of those like TikTok girls. <laughs> Chantal can get a bit of a change too. If you're wondering, she got a boob job in the horse ranch part of the Let's Play. That's why they look like that. Also, Chantal normally wears purple. It's not set in stone. So we've done every day. We've done formal. We've done party. Oh, we're, I feel like we should leave the swimwear like this. <laughs> right, this is a hot weather outfit. Look, there's literally no cold stuff in this pack. Okay, I feel like we're fine. So right, Shanice, let's get going into this cave. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Let's get going. Although we should have rode the horse there. Otherwise it's going to take ages. At least she's in her flippers ready. We've got quite a big body of water. Although you can't have like boats. This is why I think boats so you should be able to put them in the inventory in The Sims 4. So you can actually like ride them in this world like you can do in Island Living, but there we go. So we found our way here. This isn't like a proper cave gameplay, like it's just text boxes, but we need it to complete the aspiration. I, I feel like, like I play a game to play it, not to read it. I feel like reading and lore should be like a bonus, but not a main feature if you know what I mean. So we explored the cave, but we didn't get anything. Normally you can find tassels in here. So it would be nice to find some tassels. Oh, as we're here, there's a bug infestation in one of, oh my God, the boldest house again. He's having a lot of problems. All right, we didn't find anything in the cave, so we're off to the boulders house. Sir, I see you out playing chess again. We share the Harvest Fest spirit. I didn't really say it before, but yes, it is Harvest Fest day. Oh my God, there's bugs everywhere. That is literally vile. Right, Shanice, let's go. Oh my God, she's supposed to wear a hazmat suit and she's not wearing it. Shanice, where's your, all right, she's not gonna, I'm gonna put her in her LGBT sleigh wedding dress. Right, Shanice, right, you're in the perfect outfit. It's not, it's supposed to put you in like a hazmat suit when you do these things, but it always glitches out. So Shanice, Let's um, jump on it. You'll scare them away with your clown dress. Yes, you will. <laughs> That's how we get rid of the bugs. Although they don't seem to be going away. They're not doing a very good job. Right, there we go. And oh gosh, there's like mold growing in this house. That's not very good. That sounds like a problem for future me. I used to have bugs like this when I lived in Japan and it was vile. And uh, oh, there we go. We've done it. Well done, Shanice. You've smashed it, literally. She's still smashing it. Shanice, we're done. Why are you still smashing? Shanice, calm down. Thank you very much. We're gonna have a little sing with him about Harvest Fest because it is Harvest Fest. I feel like we should have a good old time. We also need to cook a grand meal. Can we use his house? Oh my God, that's actually really savage. <laughs> I mean, guys, at the end of the day, like we do technically own this property even though we don't live here. So we are using his house to cook a grand meal because we own it and we can. Yes, we can. Because I like to complete the Harvest Day objectives and he's ignoring me. He's just doing press ups over and over again as Sims 4 townies always do. He isn't gonna care. I'm cooking him a meal. He should be very grateful. See, look at that. We made a grand breakfast. Let's eat it together, Mr. Boulder. That was my payment. Well, I made it myself, but I use his ingredients as payment for doing his bugs. Although, like, I wish the loading screens wouldn't take so long to load in and she'd have to walk all the way to her lot. It's a bit annoying. We've also got to talk with the holiday gnomes, but we don't have any in the house. I wonder if it's because it doesn't support the lot type. Oh my God, our horse 
horse took a poo on our, like, neighbor's bit of land. <laughs> that is savage. We can't do the gnomes, but we can decorate. So we put our decorations up. Beautiful. We've basically done the holiday, apart from Chantelle. Who cares about her? Oh, on the subject of Chantelle, it is 1 a.m. You know what that means? Now, another thing she wants to do is eavesdrop. I believe the sim has to be at home. Should we bring Corgetti with us this time? Why not? I believe if the sim is at home, you can then eavesdrop. But I'm not sure. We're going to have to test it out. I feel like we need to get her a criminal outfit. Oh, we've learned a secret. The fruitcake fumble. Again, it's randomly generated, so I don't care. It's dumb. Can we eavesdrop, like, again, like, multiple times on the same lot? And then it actually completes our aspiration. That's too easy. That was too easy. So what I want to do is knock on the door and confront her about the secret. Although the game is glitching every time I knock on the door, it won't like knock properly. So there's a glitch. Lovely. So we can't do that. At least I tried. So because we've learned a couple of secrets now, I want to confront the Sims. Although I've forgotten who we learned secrets off. Did we learn a secret off Dwayne Johnson? No, we didn't. Who did we learn a secret off? Was it this lady? We did the fruitcake fumble. Okay. We're going to invite her to hang out at our current lot. Is she free? Yes, she is. And we're going to confront her about her secret. Hello, madam. So where is this actual interaction to confront about secrets? It seems the interaction doesn't exist. So we can't actually confront her about anything. I can't actually address the secret. Can Shanice do it? No. So we can't address her about the secret that we discovered about her. So it's a broken feature. Lovely. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> right, you may as well go home then. We're done using you. Should we try some somebody else. Sayori. I learned a secret from her. What if we invite her over? Again, like I've gone through all of the interactions, guys, and there's like absolutely nothing about addressing the rumor that we just learned, like addressing the secret that we've just learned. So consider it a broken feature. Lovely. Love that this pack is broken. Love, love, love it. $34.99. And I bought faulty product. Couldn't be any happier because we have to discover secrets by eavesdropping. So what I'm going to do, guys, because we can't confront sims with secrets. I can do the other, well, I can't even keep a secret because we can't talk about it. So what I'm thinking we're doing, we should do is, we should complete discover secrets by eavesdropping. But what I'm gonna do is I am gonna cheat us the other ones. Not because I want to cheat, because I don't want to cheat, but the game literally will not let me complete it because this is a broken pack. So I have to use cheats to complete the aspiration. I know, I feel like you guys are gonna get it because you get the vibe, because there's like like literally nothing else I can do because we can't do anything with the secrets that we learn. So we're gonna have to, there's no other choice but to cheat the current milestone. No, there is not. So we've done that. Oh my God, we've got like 6,000 reward points. Could we get like a nice little trait for this, an expensive one? Needs no one, a sim that never needs to socialize. That is a very useful trait. We will grab onto that one most certainly. Oh, she always brings ferocious flange along. She brought him along in the rain. That is so nasty of you, Chantel. Why did you bring the horse along in the rain? Though she does have an aspiration to break into a home. So we'd have a little break in here. We've done so much breaking in. Although I wish it was just like a burglar live career or something. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it would have been more fun. Oh my God, again, we've got a thing to blackmail a sim. I, I feel like all of the secret of, se sneaker of, oh my God, I can't even say it. The secret of secrets like tasks. It's all basically the exact same task like over and over again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Like a discover secrets, sneak for secrets, eavesdrop, and then discover a secret by eavesdropping. And then we got to like break into a home. Like all of these just feel like the same thing over and over again. So we found the secret that we needed. Although maybe, okay, because the last time it worked, if we let the sim come back home, because the game doesn't really register you as a criminal inside the house. So the, you know, the person who lives here won't even care. But the last time we did it, we were actually able to blackmail a sim. So maybe we should just like try do that again this way. Maybe that's the only way you can get it to work. The event is ended. Is the sim coming back home? Julie Brooke, are you home? I mean, Nancy Brooke is home. I love how we can compliment house <laughs> just after breaking in. Oh, Nancy's come to talk to us. We have to listen to her demands. I'm, okay, they are getting in a fight. So the game does actually register if you're breaking into their house sometimes, but not all of the time. So it looks like they despise each other. Lovely. We'll have another little fight. Love that for you. Although the secret that we learned about her toilet terror, we can't actually, again, no, we can't do it. There's no interaction to reveal that we've learnt the secret and blackmail her. So again, guys, it's broken. So once we've completed the tiger inspection badge, we're gonna have to cheat. Oh, trash out of control. There's a trash overload. Where's the trash? Is it here? Where's the trash 
overload. Is it in this lot? I'm so confused. Okay, there's trash here. This is Shanice's job. She's a landlord. Right, Shanice, come over here, please. Right, Shanice, oh my god, Shanice is in her dressing gown. That is so funny because I've just woken her up. <laughs> right, apparently there is a trash overload. We've got to clean up all the trash. So there we go. Where's she taking the trash? There we go, into the back. Are we done? Where's more trash? We've got to clean up some more trash. But I don't see, I don't see, guys, I don't see any trash. Oh my god. There's supposed to be a trash overload. Is it in the actual, like, house? It's not in the actual house. Is it supposed to be, if we, is this another broken feature? Is the trash hidden, like, under the bushes? I can't see anything clipping under the bushes. So there we go. Another broken feature. We need to clean up loads of trash, but we can't. The only thing I can think of doing, because this is broken, I'm pretty sure there's an option in the services menu. Hi, is it hire a service? There was an option in the, like, live stream where you could hire somebody to do it for you. And we can't because we're on site, so we need to go home first. And guys, do you know what about the loading screens? Like, you know that when you load into a lot, it does that song, da -da 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 -da, and like it's happening so much with this pack. So can we, okay, we're gonna call an expensive contractor. We literally have 74 simoleons left, 74,000. So we've had to hire a professional to do it because it broke and we couldn't do it ourselves, which is annoying, but there we go. So I feel like we've set a lot of stuff up with this Let's Play. We've got our aspirations. There's even more aspirations to go through as well. So we've got so much to do. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss an episode. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.